started our chapter number four, that is pronouns and its kinds, right? Now, what is a pronoun? Of the three kinds of pronouns, personal pronouns, possessive pronouns, and demonstrative pronouns. Now, next is the interrogative pronoun. Interrogative pronouns are those that are used to ask questions, right? For example, who is at the door? See here, who is the question word and door is a noun. Whom are you writing to? Right? So, when some question words are used to ask the questions, that is called interrogative pronouns. Now, which, which words we use as interrogative pronouns are who, whom, whose, what and which. Now, use of interrogative pronouns. When we use interrogative pronouns, who is used as the subject and object of the verb or preposition? Who is used as the subject, right? Who is at the door? Means who, who is used as the subject. Whose is, whose is used to indicate the possession? It's used for both person and thing. When the person who will answer has to make a choice among different possibilities. Now next is reflexive pronouns. Reflexive pronouns are those which reflect upon or go back to the subject. Means reflexive pronouns are used for the subject, right? For example, for I we use myself, for we we use ourselves, for he we use himself, for she we use herself, for they we use themselves. You, yourself and yourselves. See students, you is that pronoun which is used for singular and which is used for plural also. Right? If it is used for singular, we have to write yourself. And if you is used for plural, at that time we have to write yourselves. Right? So, what is reflexive pronoun? Reflexive pronouns are those which reflect upon the subject. Means they are used for the subject right now when we use reflexive pronoun when the subject or object of the verb is the same person or thing subject and the object of the same person i hurt myself means here reflexive pronoun is used for the subject next is emphatic pronouns there uh, these are the reflexive pronouns which are used for the emphasis see students Emphasize means to put on pressure, bhaar purva bolna, right? that is called emphatic pronoun. And same pronouns which we use as reflexive pronouns, same are used as emphatic pronouns, right? For I, we use myself, for we, we use ourselves, you, yourselves and yourself, for he, himself, means same pronouns which we, we use for reflexive pronoun, we can use for emphatic pronoun. But here uh, the difference is the reflexive pronoun comes after the verb and emphasis pron emphatic pronouns we have to write just after the subject. Right? Relative pronouns are used to join some clause or phrase in a sentence. And here relative pronoun is used for the subject. Who is used for the subject? For example, the boy who won the competition is my best friend. See here who is used for the subject, the boy, right? So, who is called the relative pronoun? Now, when we use relative pronoun, right? See students, who and whom are used for persons only. Who and whom are used for the persons only. But there, uh, when we use who, who we use for the subject and whom is used for the object of the verb, right? Let's see here. These have the same form whether they refer to singular or plural noun or any of the masculine, feminine or common gender. See students keep in mind whenever we use who or whom. Uh, either the noun is singular or plural, either it is feminine, gender, common gender, whatever it is, we can use who or whom. But keep in mind who is used for the subject and whom is used for the object, object of the verb. 
the man who is wearing pink shirt is my teacher see here the man it is singular subject right so we can write who if, if there is plural at that time also we can use whom the man who is means here this who relative pronoun is used for the subject the men the ladies who attended the party were happy the ladies here the subject is plural then also we can use who but keep in mind that either the subject is singular or plural we can use who right to join the phrase or clause the boy was blessed by the blind man whom he had helped cross the road right and here a uh, masculine gender man is masculine gender so we can write whom also either masculine or feminine we can who we can use who or whom for both the little girl was guided by the teacher whom she truly admires a teacher is a feminine gender so we can use who or whom for anything right for singular for plural for masculine for feminine we can use it right when we use the relative pronoun whom we have to be very careful see students when we use whom be careful at that time the girl who appreciated the dancers were friendly the girls who means here who is used for the subject the girls right the people appreciated the dancers whom they had met after the so see here whom is used after the object means it is used for the object of the verb right so we have to write whom i repeat again who is used for the subject of the verb and whom is used for the object of the verb whose is used for both person and things whose it is used relative pronoun whose is used for both person and thing for example the chair whose color is blue is mine the chair whose means again whose means kiska right jiska we call at that time it may be person or it may be thing we can use whose the teacher called the students whose um, average marks very low right again students it's a living thing we can use whose we can use whose also right the pen whose nib is broken cannot be used now the pen it's a living thing but we can use whose whose is used to show the whose it is kiska hai right jiska the pen jiski nib tuti hue right for that we use whose right? means it is used to show the position right? which is used for animals and things who is used for person and which is used for animal same thing we we cannot use who for thing and animal right and we cannot use which for person which is used only for animal and things the book which i gave him is lost the book which i means which is used for the book see students book is a non living thing so we have to use which we cannot write the book who we have to write which only the deer which was killed was carried to the village see deer is an animal so we have to write which we are not supposed to write who right use of that see students that is used as a relative pronoun when we talk about something past at that time we can use that that is used for after both persons and things that is used for both person also we can use that and for thing also we can use that the watch that i bought last year is not working now see here that i bought last year see the watch is a thing but here said about the past right at that time we can use that he is the boy that i was talking about it is that is we can use for person also right sometimes we use that after the words all only nothing and none see students keep in mind these types of words are given 
all only nothing and none after that we can use that nothing that he say, he con said convince the judge about his innocence means after these words or oh, all after these words like all only nothing and alone we can use that the relative pronoun that is also used after adjectives in the superlative degree so students uh, see students today we have done reflexive pronoun emphatic pronoun interrogative pronoun and relate and relative pronoun reflexive pronoun means which reflects back to the, the subject right and we use self words like myself yourself himself yourselves ourselves themselves herself these types of words are used and these self words are written after the verb right and emphatic pronoun is used to put on emphasize right and same uh, pronouns which we use in the reflexive pronoun are used right interrogative pronouns interrogative pronouns some question words are used to ask the question right that is called interrogative pronouns and last one is the relative pronoun relative pronoun are used to join phrase or clauses in a sentence and who which whose that whom these types of words are used who is used for the person and it is used as the sub subject of the verb right whom is also used for the person but it is used for the object of the verb which is used for thing and animal which is used for thing and animals right and whose is used for both person and thing right so students and that that is used uh, that is also used as a relative pronoun but it is used when something is talked about past right thank you students.